Hello, this is the Red Leg A1 coming at you from the Peaceful Glen Homestead out here in Central Virginia. And what you're looking at here is dirt coming out of this excavation that I'm doing. Today, uh, I hope to wrap up phase one of my geothermal, DIY geothermal setup here in the greenhouse. As you can see, the greenhouse is in full production, and probably this is not the best time to be trying to install a geothermal in the greenhouse. However, when you're by yourself, one man show, as my, my buddy Doug from out Off Grid with Doug and Stacy says, He's a one-man show, and he really is. Um, most of us who are doing this kind of stuff really are doing it by ourselves or with the help of maybe some kids or, you know, their wife might come out and help a little bit. But this is hard manual labor right here. So what I've got is the, the phase one is to get that hole, that hole, and this hole completed. Now this hole right here will be for my freeze-free, frost-free uh, hydrant, hydrant, yard hydrant. And these black pipes right here will come down and elbow down into the ground, go 16 inches, and then I'm going to cut over, make it go down, and that hole, all these holes are going to be 30 inches deep. Uh, I'll go down in the hole, U-turn back up, and then come back across to here and drop back down again into the 30-inch hole. And then I'll go across uh, to a series of other holes and then come back around this way here and come up into these barrels. And I'll coil some three-quarter inch black well pipe down into those barrels and then I will come across pick up these two barrels here come out of this uh, last barrel and then pop out into a um, a small tank and that small tank will actually be an expansion tank uh, you'll see that later, just trying to kind of give you a description. And I'll come back down to ground here, elbow over to a geothermal hole there, and then come back across, catch another hole here, and then I'll come back in and tie back into the, uh, the three-quarter inch black poly pipe there. So that'll be the circuit and essentially what I'll have is stations that are 30 inches deep and um, on my post hole digger there I got this mark is at 30 inches so I'm 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 no less than 30 inches but I might be up a little bit as I've dug these holes a little deeper you know just by clearing them out so it's hard manual labor I'm inside of a tight spot I got to go through two doors to get back out to uh, that pile right there. So I'm taking excavation out. I do have some down here, but I'm running out of space to work in. So I'm carrying stuff out. This is a hard job. And then phase two will be to actually connect with um, the water pipe over here that's in the ground. I'll show you that in another. And then trench across here with uh, a few more geothermal holes. And then my my trench will be carrying my water back around here, but it'll also be carrying the, uh, uh, the circuit for the geothermal. All right, so that's good for, for now. I'll come back in later and show you more. Uh, this is uh, the Red Leg A1 out here for the moment. See you again soon.